Hello, my name is Vicar Steele. Welcome to our daily video devotions here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thank you for watching. For our devotion today, we will again continue looking at our epistle lesson as found in 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says, Jesus is accursed, and no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except in the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another gifts of healing by the one Spirit to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the ability to distinguish between spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are empowered by one and the same Spirit who apportions to each one individually as he wills. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh boy, here we go. Talking about the gifts of the Spirit, isn't that a kettle of fish? But here's the deal. The Spirit gives to each as the Spirit wills. For the good of the body in the building up the church and the advancement of the kingdom. So as Lutherans, we don't need to be afraid of the gifts of the Spirit. Here's the problem. The gifts of the Spirit are chased after as though they are an end to themselves and not a means. And moreover, we focus, or we like to focus, so much on the gifts of the Spirit that we forget about the most important thing. Because we like to see showy and flashy things. We like to see signs and miracles. We read about it in the Bible, in church history. We hear about it from missionary tales. Oh, if only, if only the Spirit were at work among us. Beloved, don't be so arrogant. The Spirit is at work in your life. For what does he say in 1 Corinthians here? No one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says, Jesus is accursed. And no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except in the Holy Spirit. That's the important thing. Jesus is Lord. The gifts of the Spirit as wonderful as they are, and whenever he gives them, are for the good of the church. But the greatest gift that the Spirit has given you in your baptism is the gift of being able to say, Jesus is Lord. As the Catechism says, I cannot believe by my own reason or strength that Jesus Christ is my Lord or come to him, but the Holy Spirit calls, gathers, enlightens, and sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth. Don't miss the forest for the trees, my friends. The gifts of the Spirit are gifts, and they are wonderful. But the first things have to be first. Jesus, for it is by Jesus that we even receive the Holy Spirit. It is by his death and his resurrection, that the gates of heaven are opened to you. It is by him who promises that the Father will send the Spirit upon you. And the Spirit, he opens your mouth to confess that Jesus is Lord. What is greater than that? What greater work of the Spirit is that in your life? And how does the Spirit work this? He works it by the word. He works it by the waters of holy baptism. He works it by the holy communion of Christ's body and blood given and shed for you. Everything else, as wonderful as they are, is just icing on the cake. So, 
desire. Pray that the Spirit would empower you and your brothers and sisters in Christ as you live out your vocation. And pray that the Spirit would empower and embolden the church as she preaches the gospel. But never, ever forget. Except in the Spirit of God, you cannot say, Jesus is Lord. So thanks be to God in Christ Jesus that he has died for your sins, that he would be your Lord, that he is risen from the dead, that he would be your God and Savior, and that he has sent you the Holy Spirit, that by faith you may grab hold of his salvation, that you may receive the Holy Spirit, and that you may have, as the Spirit gives, all of his wonderful gifts, forgiveness, life, salvation, righteousness, joy, and anything else that he desires to give you. You have the Spirit by baptism, through faith, in Christ Jesus, to the glory of God the Father. Amen.